A lot of Silent Hill stuff has been available on PSN, and a lot of it also tends to come and go unexpectedly. Here's a listing of some things that are available or have been in the past. When the HD collection was released for PlayStation 3, they also put up a bunch of related digital stuff that you could buy on PSN to celebrate its release, however ill-fated that was. There were separate themes available for Silent Hill 2 and 3 for PS3. The theme for 2 had a few different wallpapers, James, a bubblehead nurse, Pyramid Head, and Maria. The Silent Hill 3 theme had Heather, Douglas, a nurse, and Valtiel. There were also avatar sets for Silent Hill 2 and 3. I usually use the bubblehead nurse one, even now I have that set as my PSN avatar. Well, unrelated to the HD collection promo items, there was also a sort of ugly homecoming theme, which was noteworthy for at least customizing more of the icons. Both of the movies have also been available on PSN. Shattered Memories and Origins have been available on and off for PSP, and Silent Hill 1 can be played on PSP and PS3. Its price has also been reduced. It started off at $9.99, and I think it's about $6 US now. It was originally announced that Shattered Memories and Origins would be available for the PS Vita, but then Konami UK walked back this promise. Origins and Shattered Memories can be transferred to PS Vita using a USB cable, though. However, Book of Memories, the infamous dungeon crawler, remains the only game made for this system. Book of Memories also had a DLC pack that contained stuff like more artifacts, accessories, weapons, and enemies. Silent Hill 4 is strangely only available on the Japanese version of PSN. The online social game PlayStation Home for PS3 also got some Silent Hill content when the HD collection was released. You could purchase and then play as James, Heather, Robbie, Pyramid Head, or a Bowlehead Nurse. Anne and Murphy's outfits could be purchased, but not the actual characters. And also, James and Heather were split into, like, the outfit and the head. You had to buy these separately, uh, if I recall correctly. The Downpour Diner was also available as a location you could buy. Besides chatting with your friends and random strangers, it was full of mini-games, places to explore, and you can decorate your spaces and take funny selfies. You could interact with some things in the environment, and some areas were changed for different holidays. Robbie wasn't bloody, though, and the whole thing was definitely not a horror game. If you search on PS4 for Silent Hill, you don't find as much. Recently, the Dead by Daylight Silent Hill chapter and DLC has been added, which allows you to play this online multiplayer game as characters including Heather, Lisa, and Pyramid Head. I only have the PC version so far, but plan on buying the full Silent Hill version eventually since there are no other games even vaguely related to the series happening right now. Of course, there used to be more related content on the PS4. I first bought a PS4 the day I heard that PT was a thing, specifically that it was a teaser for the series. Due to whatever fuckery was happening at Konami, though, not only was the planned Silent Hills game with Hideo Kojima cancelled, but even the playable teaser was removed from the store, causing crazy stuff to happen, like people selling their PS4s for outrageous amounts of money just because it already had PT downloaded on the machine.